you go, Mr. Schnipples. You're free. Thank you for being sick of Creature Comfort's hat. What you doing? I'm giving every animal a hat when it goes home. I like to give out parting gifts at bar mitzvahs. Darcy, this is a clinic. It's not dignified for... <gasps> okay, now that's cute. Hello, Mr. Sniffles. Are you going to the theater? Indeed, that's you are. Oh. Um, Lindsay. Hi, Jenny. Can I help you? I need some food for Bandit. <laughs> so, I didn't see you on the sign-up sheet for the trail rally yet. What's the trail rally? Do you get to drive sports cars? Nah, it's on horseback. Two-person teams. You get a set of directions to follow, and the team with the best time wins. And me and my partner finished in the best time the last two years, which means Lindsay will lose to us again, which makes her a loser again. Afraid not, Jenny. You're gonna beat me in your dreams. I'm just not riding this year. She doesn't have a partner. I know why you're not riding. Because you're a fweed. See you around, loser. That was like a soap opera. So you guys used to be friends, huh? And now she's all snooty? I can tell. Ooh, I'm Jenny. I'm too good for you. What a priss. It's not that big a deal. I'd rather not talk about it. They used to be friends and... Jack, you never said I couldn't talk about it. You know what you should do? You should beat her at that trail rally thingy. Oh, that'd be sweet. She can't beat her. She doesn't have a partner. Then get one. We'll find you a great partner. You'll make that Jenny wish she never was mean to you. Right, Mr. Sniffles? Right, Darcy, beat her. Make her scream for mercy and crawl through the mud to kiss your filthy uh, shoe. Darcy? Oh, here's your rabbit. Beat her. This girl Darcy loves to have fun. She was feeling fine and having a good time. Hanging out on the scene, mom on the big screen. But she moved her way. Stacking hay, the nearest town is 12 hours away. Cows are mooing and many roosters growing. It's not the same, it's not a game. She said goodbye to glamour and fame. She used to love to hang out and go dancing. Go to parties and make important plans. And now she's got to go clean out the stables. Darcy's wildlife is about to turn the tables. Hey girl, you having fun? Yeah, say goodbye to life on the run. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Welcome to normal child. What you see is what you get in Darcy's wildlife. Uh. Is back on Discovery Kids on NBC. I still don't know why I'm doing this. Because I've already asked Eli for too many favors, and you want me to put in a good word with my mom next time you want some crazy favor from her. Ah, right. I knew there was a reason. I promised Lindsay would find her a great partner. And Eli will be a great partner. Then she'll beat Jenny. Hey, Eli, remember when you got your head stuck in a terrarium and I helped you get it out? So, you owe me a favor. Lindsay's looking for a partner for the trail rally. You in? Sure. Great! My work here is done! <laughs> ah! oh, man. I'm pretty sure my arm wasn't supposed to bend this direction. Anyway, Eli got smushed by a hay bale, and Lindsay needs a partner for the trail rally because she really wants to beat that Jenny Barstow. Oh, I'm with you there. That weasel face road ample deserves to get pounded like a cheap steak. I'd be proud to be her partner. Terrific! But I can't. My honeybee lane is taking me to a Celine Dion concert, and then dinner at the Oyster Barrel. Says I can get soup and everything. All right, I'm done. We failed. I got a life to live. Fine, I'll do it without you. You'll see, there are plenty of other people I can ask. Please, there's nobody left to ask. So you're asking me? I spent all afternoon asking around. Everybody either has other plans or is already in the rally. And why should I do it? Because Lindsay's your sister. Eh. Wrong answer. Forget it, Darcy. You're just wasting your time. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. Maybe if you asked real nice and told me how smart I am and how great a little brother I just might do it. <sighs> Please, Jack. You're so smart and such a great little brother. <laughs> Pass. Thanks for the kind words, though. Jack, why won't you help? Cruz. I got more important stuff to do. Like what? 
Just this afternoon, I found a dog who paints. Well, as long as you have a good reason. The Jacobsons brought their dog Hobo in for a flea dip, and while he was drying off, he picked up a marker in his mouth and marked on the wall. That doesn't make him a painter, that makes him a vandal. He paints, and I'm gonna manage him and be the celebrity dog art dealer. Hmm, sounds like an interesting dog. I don't suppose it can ride a horse. <sighs> My face is cramping up. Is it done yet? No, it's hard to tell with art. Oh, I like what he's done there. Oh, that detail is perfect. Ha <laughs> ha, that's clever. Yeah, I'd call it done. Let me see. Guess it looks like me. Well, I don't think that Hobo is really a representational painter, Eli. He's more a, a disciple of the abstract school. Does that mean it? doesn't have to look like me? Well, he's captured the essence of you, the spirit of you. Good work, Hobo. Who's a good painter? You really think Hobo's good? Don't sugarcoat it. I can handle the truth. I think his work is adorable. I had no idea animals could paint. Oh, yeah. You know, I've seen elephants on TV that hold the brush in their trunks. They do it in zoos to keep them entertained. And dolphins can paint, too, and sea lions. And yeah, yeah, dolphins, elephants, good stuff. Let's talk to Ricky about the dog. Could you make some calls? Well, the painting is unique. I know some gallery owners. I expect I could get at least one of them to fly out here. When? When? Let's shoot for Saturday. In the meantime, have Herbo do some more canvases. We'll have an exhibition of his work. It'll be smashing! You hear that, Hobo? You're gonna have an exhibition. So don't just sit around barking all day. You got work to do. Go find stuff to paint, boy. Thank you, Miss Fields. This is the break I've been waiting for. This dog's gonna be the next Pablo Picasso. It's a pleasure to nurture budding talent, Jack. <coughs> now go fetch the shovel. Pablo Picasso has just created a masterpiece on the lawn. Oh. I need a straight bit. It gives me more leverage on my horse's mouth. It lets me control him better. Good for you. Yeah, well, you'd realize that was important if you really rode. She really rides? Yeah? Then how come she's not riding against me in the rally? Oh, right. Lil Baby's a fwaid. She's a better rider than you'll ever be. She's so good, she could beat you with me as a partner. Deal. What? What? I said you're on. It's time to put up, and when we beat you, it'll be time to shut up. See you Saturday. I know, I know. You wanted an experienced partner, and I don't have that much experience. Okay, none. None experience. But you are a great rider, and I can ride Gus well enough to keep up and everything, so it's gonna be just fine. Great, so we're all on board. <laughs> Time to start the Bailey Trail Ride. Please get your animals and the riders to the start line outside Creature Comforts. Yeah, go. You want a little breakfast? There you go. Go. Need a little sustenance for the uh, rally. Go. That's it. And there goes our first rider, Deacon and Curtis. Good luck with the ride. Okay, come on. Hold on. Uh, all right. You look terrific. You've got a total Cameron Diaz active girl ready for anything vibe going on. It's very noticeable. You ready, Gus? Hey, what'd I do? You spooked him. Horses are used to being mounted on their left side. It seems that they spook at everything. Their only defense is running away. Okay. Are you sure you're ready for this? Oh, you bet I'm ready. 
I have eaten a healthy breakfast. I have fed Gus. I have done my stretches. I am ready, 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 ready. I might not be ready. <laughs> Sugar Pines, collect your first goodie. A flag in a tree with a bird named Woody. A bird named Woody that's gotta be a woodpecker. Oh, well, that one's got a lot of woodpecker holes. Seems like a good way to ruin a tree. Actually, it's good. Other birds build nests in the holes. Oh, kind of like the way they take old warehouses downtown and turn them into expensive apartments. Only woodpeckers don't have art galleries or trendy restaurants nearby. But the lofts do tend to have hardware floors. And this tree's made of wood, so I think my little fable stands up. Hey, look, the flag's tied to that branch. I would climb up there and get it, but, um, my outfit? You're wearing jeans. I'm wearing Rudolfo Laspari. I waited six months for them to come in from Italy. Then why did you wear them on a trail ride? Because they go so well with Gus. See? I've got us a little snack down here. <sighs> what are you doing? Just putting out a little nosh. We have water crackers, some tapenade, some smoked salmon. You have to try the melon and prosciutto. It's incredible. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind if I ever need a wedding catered, but this is a trail rally. Let's go. <sighs> All right. This majestic, optimistic piece perfectly captures the mood and idea which set heartbeats and dogs everywhere. We call it Fire Hydrant Sunrise. <laughs> Moving along, a subject tackled by many artists over the years, but never captured the immediacy which Hobo brings to it. Mailman at noon, running for his life. Quite lovely, Hobo. Very deft. I can sense the mailman's urgency. And finally, the last piece in a dog has its day series. A masterwork of canine yearning, setting the sun over a bowl of kibble. But it's upside down. Hey, you're right. Oh, look, a deer. Yeah, dear. It's so cute, look at it. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Yeah, they eat just about anything that grows. No meat, but if it's got leaves, it's chow time. What do the directions say? I was vegetarian once for almost a whole day, but then my mom got this incredible tiger shrimp at the market, and I thought, who am I kidding? Break out the cocktail sauce. <laughs> You think you could lighten up a little bit? I am not here to enjoy this experience. I didn't want to experience this experience, but since you made me, I'm here to win. Give me the directions. Fine. Oh, look at that dog. <laughs> You're checking right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for attending this landmark exhibition. The artist will be joining us just as soon as he's done drinking out of the toilet. Jack, over here. There's someone I want to introduce you to. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. Try the cookies. Jack, this is Vadim. He runs the Interroban Gallery on Melrose. Good to meet you, Vadim. We are going to do great things together. Hobo is going to be bigger than that, you know. Van Gogh joker. Shall we take a look at the paintings? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, be honest, Vadim. You got it. These are worthless. <laughs> what? They're painted by a dog. How could they be worthless? Because they're painted by a dog. <laughs> this was going to be my ticket to the big time. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. I enjoy Hobo's paintings, but perhaps they're not for everybody. Mm. Thanks a lot, Hobo. Mm. <sighs> Twelve elms east of the boulder. Look over your shoulder. There's the boulder. There's elm number one. Hey, everybody. Three months ago, 
I was at a movie premiere 10 rows behind the biggest producer in Hollywood. Now, I'm 10 feet behind a horse's rear end. I know it sounds like the same thing, but at least the theater was air conditioned. <laughs> whoa, Gus, whoa! Darcy! Whoa, whoa Darcy, whoa! <laughs> Darcy, is everything okay? No. Are you hurt? <sighs> I'm fine, but I think I tore my Laspari jeans. What? I know, but maybe I can ship them back to Milan and get them fixed. Who cares about your jeans? I care about this rally and you ruined it. Hey, I didn't plan to fall down a cliff. I know, the only thing you planned on was brunch. Maybe I should just leave you here and, and go on without you. Well, why don't you? But then you'll finish alone, and you'll get disqualified, and then you won't win. That's all that matters to you. I don't care about winning. I just want to post a better time than that stinking Jenny. I never did anything to her, and all she does is rub my nose in how popular she is. And now she's going to beat me again. You didn't want to do this, and I got you into it. She's so mean to me. I know it shouldn't bother me, but... Of course it bothers you. She was your friend, and she stabbed you in the back. So, go beat her. Just come back and get me when you're done. Really? Yeah, I'll be fine here. Though, could you throw me down the prosciutto and some mineral water? The lemon flavor. I'm not gonna do it. What? You want the prosciutto? Fine, then leave me the crackers. I'm not gonna leave you. It could be dangerous and you wouldn't leave me. Well, I wouldn't leave without snacks, that's for sure. So why would I ditch my friend? Thanks. The problem is, I don't have a rope to haul you up, and these vines won't hold your weight. Oh, that's not a problem. I may not be Miss Trail Ride Expert, but I am the queen of French braids. You ready? All right, Gus, bring her up. Okay, keep on going, ah! Gus. Great. All right, ready, Gus? Come on. Okay, one, two. Mm. Come on, come on, everything's gonna be okay, Gus. Come on. Thanks, sure. So, what do you say we finish? Yeah, yeah, just uh, let me catch my breath and we'll saddle up. I mean, what do you say we finish the food you brought? The rally can wait. <laughs> stupid paintings. Stupid art guy. Stupid... Uh, stupid sky. What do you want? You were supposed to make me famous. Well, you didn't. I don't know why you're being so nice to me. I kind of put a lot of pressure on you. I guess it's not your fault if your paintings aren't any good. I mean, a lot of people just don't have much artistic talent. You know what? No more painting for you. I think you should just concentrate on being a dog. I'll tell you what we'll do with this. Go get it, Hobo. Attaboy, Hobo. Bring it back. Yes, who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Give it back. <laughs> and when Cassidy finished her latte, she had whipped cream all over her nose, and she didn't even know it. <laughs> well, we're back. And I made you lose. Yeah, but I had a choice. I could either be mad and lose a friend or stay and help a friend. There'll be another race next year. Do you need a partner for it? Um, I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hey, Victoria. Have you seen Jenny Barstow? I suppose I should congratulate her. 
For what, getting disqualified? She tried to take a shortcut, so her team got disqualified. They officially came in last place. <laughs> really? Mm, they're over there in the first aid tent. <laughs> Their shortcut turned out to be through a patch of poison oak. <laughs> I'm afraid the only beauty title she'll have is Miss Blister. So how did we do? 40 minutes slower than I've ever done this ride. So this was officially your worst time ever? No, it was actually one of my best times ever. Darcy's Wildlife is back on Discovery Kids on NBC. Go, come on. Go, go, giddy up. You can hold them, you can fly. Leaves it out. Ow, would you stop nudging me? Ow. Oh. Next time on Endurance Hawaii on Discovery Kids on NBC, Monroe and Brianna are back, and the other girls aren't happy. It'd be so much easier if Yellow wasn't here right now. So instead of cheering Yellow's victory, the girls are plotting their demise. I hope Orange wins, so we can handicap Yellow. <gasps> Me too. Next time on Endurance Hawaii on Discovery Kids on NBC.